first of all it's a known thing now the so called development wherever in the state is taken in peace mill manner is to make money you know the politician and the contractors you know they get into some sort of an arrangement understanding now this for example jogas park just about 6 7 years old an infrastructure has been built we have just laid our hands on the files in the first phase which was done it was done bringing in gidc and all these agencies to cover up there were a lot of announcements which were done lot of things that had to come in the first phase which did not come who ate the money they created the infrastructure they thumped it on the panchayat panchayat akade paisa na but sagle lok ata panchayat ak blame karta ki why ki why can't you maintain you see the sad state the benches are broken the children for whom the park was made all the uh, playing infrastructure which was there that is in dilapidated state broken collapse the area which was there which had a sort of a synthetic uh, flooring a rubberized uh, base uh, which probably was to ensure the children don't uh, hurt themselves if they fall that cover is gone at this time when the sun is there right on top the flooring is so hot they cannot walk probably they can think of putting up a cover on top i may just a suggestion but when the first phase is in dilapidated state no upkeep no maintenance you are now going in for phase 2 so what is the basic idea behind this is it to help the people or is it to make more money now this is the time we have decided a group of citizens have come together we are going to make the people responsible for this accountable if need be they may have to go to jail because there are a lot of scams happening in dabuli whether it is the joggers park whether it is the children's park there so many things so many things are missing they have landed up in people's homes we have identified we have we are in consultation with the advocates how to take it forward